Hey guys, I uh, hope everyone's doing good. I want to do a little video walkthrough of the trailer after we've been using it for, let's see, it's been about three years. This will be the third season now with this landscape trailer. Um, we built it and there's a past video that I put up right after we built it. Um, but now we've pretty much dialed it in exactly how we like it. Um, we're still making little tweaks and things, but um, overall, this is pretty much dialed in and we have really nailed down exactly what we like in here and uh, so I thought I'd do a new video showing everything and uh, so I hope you enjoy so to start off for those of you that haven't seen it this is a uh, Wells Cargo uh, it's 20 foot by eight and a half it's got 7,000 pound axles, so it's a 14,000 pound GVW trailer. Uh, as you can see, it's got a four foot wide door. I ordered it like that so that if you ever wanted to, you could put a put a pallet in there with a with a fork, you know, with a bobcat or forklift. Uh, we have never done that to date, but I still think it's a nice option to have. It makes it easy to get in and out of. Uh, other things we added to the trailer when we ordered it was an extended tongue so you can haul it with any size truck and you'll never hit the front of it but yeah it's got smooth sides so it's nice to get it lettered easy easier for the guy lettering it uh, we added this fold down um, lip here and i think i also ordered it six inches taller than stock so i believe it's six foot six on the inside uh, if i was to do this again i probably would go taller just because it's nice to have more for more height in the inside all right so when i built this trailer i ordered it with just stock on the inside it came with led lights two led lights and the sides have i think half inch plywood on the sides um i went through and as you can see down here i added three quarter inch plywood across the sides and everywhere you can see it down here too I added that plywood everywhere just to protect the sides so everything we did in here is built out of three quarter inch plywood and two by fours and e-track uh, this is e-track right here <clears throat> um, so basically what this is is you get all these different style of fittings and clamps and they this is what like a little ring clamp is it goes like this put it up in there slide it in down here and then it's locked in. it cannot come out so all these <coughs> clamps and uh, or hooks and clamps and uh, different things are all e-track you can buy the stuff at menards i bought it at uh, a local guy by me that i know really well that was able to get everything i wanted for this um, these are really cool um, see if I can get one off here. These are made for shovels. Very, very cool. Very, very heavy duty. I haven't had a single one break. They are a little pricey, but you know, this stuff gets beat up day in, day out, and it's got to last. I think I got to be in the other one. So don't, don't, uh, waste your money on things that aren't heavy duty enough because you think it's going to last now, but by the time you go in and out of this trailer a thousand times, ten thousand times, you just don't want to be replacing this stuff. So this is what we have. So we got our transit tripod here, shovels of all different types, um, hammers, sledgehammers, dead blows. Our uh, stone rakes or stone, these are like concrete pullers they're called, but um, we basically use those exclusively. We hardly ever use rakes anymore unless it's for dirt. Trenching shovels, which obviously you can tell we don't use them very much. Backpack blower, handheld blower, picks, scrapers, post hole digger, brooms, more brooms, scoop shovels. Big extension cords, generator extension cords, uh, rakes, plastic rakes, measuring wheel. We've got a head trimmer back there. We've got a bolt cutter. 
pruners, loppers. Uh, this is our generator. I am on the look for a different generator, probably a quieter one. This thing is plenty big, but it is so stinking loud. And after listening to it all day, it's like, it'll be worth the money to invest in like a nice Honda, real quiet generator. Uh, down here we have all our uh, grade stakes and um, some rebar for stakes that we found on job sites. We use a lot of these. These are just concrete stakes. I found these super long ones at Lowe's. They're really nice to have. Uh, then we got a rubber ended or a rubber hand tamp and then three uh, steel hand tampers. <clears throat> Underneath all that is our level holder. This holds a um, I believe that's a 16 inch, 24 inch, 36, 48. Uh, this is a six foot and an eight foot level. Uh, this has been one of the best things. You never leave a level on site because you know where it is and you know that it's missing. Uh, in this case, we have all of our hammers, our couple more levels. Two footer is probably the most standard, but sometimes if you got two or three guys set in brick, you gotta have more levels. So we have a couple extra in here. Some caulk guns, speed squares. What else is in here? Um, paint sticks, chisels. Um, so basically, when we, when we get to the job site, this box comes out, and the Milwaukee pack out, which I'll show you in a little bit, that all automatically goes out to where we're working. That has between those two things. That has everything that we need. Um, going over here, here is our caulk and glue storage. Um, so this holds all our 29 ounce tubes. This holds the smaller 12 ounce, I don't know if they're 12 ounce, 10 ounce tubes. Anyways, um, and this is just general storage. Keep some, some uh, knee pads up in here and the Sherbon gun and things like that. We have a microwave, water jug. Um, we keep some other things like pull this out of here. Some core bits, and we got a uh, another small clamp from Pave Tool in there. Some hole drill bits here. And we don't really use that stuff very often, but when we need it, you need it. It's back in here. Uh, down here we have a small gas-powered air compressor with an air hose, another extension cord. Uh, we use that for our um, pave more uh, suction cup tool. That works good. Uh, back behind this measuring wheel, we keep our stake pounders for doing like erosion mat. Um, let me get one out of here. <clears throat> so, yeah, we don't use these a ton. I mean, we do a good bit of erosion control, but it's a perfect spot to keep them. This is used for those six inch or four inch staples called the staple setter. I don't remember where I got it, but they're ridiculously expensive for what they are, but what isn't anymore? So going under here, we keep our fabric, drip pipe, fertilizer. There's some water in there from last year. We got our um, demo saw, chainsaw, gas can. We usually keep a diesel can in here. This is really just a catch-all for bulk materials. Uh, we keep our grease gun in there, which isn't in there right now, but um, I guess I'll show you the pack out since it's all open here. So this is the Milwaukee pack out. Um, super great system. I'm sure a lot of guys have seen it. Uh, so in this bottom one, we keep all our DeWalt tools, saws, all drills, grinders. Uh, we keep a skill saw down in there, some drill bits, um, bit drivers. We got a little handheld blower, which we picked up last fall. Oh, I'm not going to get it out. It's like a maze to get the stuff back in here but anyways we use that's what that one's for uh here we have string lines screwdrivers um earplugs um some blades string line just miscellaneous stuff that we always seem to need when we're out of the out by a patio doing a job um there's some chisels i bought a bunch of screwdrivers because we never seem to have screwdrivers in here um, saws all blades those types of things up in this one is all of our batteries um, we were keeping them in that one but we ran out of room so i got a new one this keeps all our batteries and our chargers 
and this one are tape measures, knives, blades, some electrical tape, and pencils, and marking utensils, and paper markers, and things like that. This doesn't always say as organized as it looks here, but um, this is, you know, beginning of our season here, so a lot of this stuff has all been gone through. Inventory has been kept and updated, so we're ready to rock. Um, so we're able to lock all these together like this. And then you can wheel this right, you know, right to where you need it. So between this and this, that pretty much has everything that we need on a job site. This bucket's out of the way. Right there. Works perfect. So up here we have a hammer drill or a, a regular drill for drilling our in lights and stuff like that. This is a SDS plus drill. In these bins are just miscellaneous things from caution tape to sponges to weed eater string, um, straps. Uh, there's a bottle jack in one of them. A lot of different stuff. Um, back there we have our new um, Flexvolt SDS Max drill. Um, I was sick of can around an extension cord every time we need it. We don't need it a lot, but when we do, then we gotta get the generator out, and we gotta get the extension cord out, and now we can just grab that case and a battery, and we're ready to roll. Um, I'm very excited about that. It's gonna be a great addition and improve our efficiency when we need to use it. Uh, kneeling pads, there's a radio. I, so I just redid all this. I cut these out here to fit these buckets in better and faster so these buckets are so heavy because they got our stakes and nails and we use those a lot and so we're always going up it used to be like this straight across so we used to have to go up and over well this is going to make this way easier i added this area here this holds all our blades uh, we got dust masks earplugs uh, grade rods are right here um, our this is another smaller tripod we use and this is our new DeWalt um, battery-powered caulk gun, which I was able to try one last fall, and it was amazing. So we picked one of those up. Uh, safety glasses, tons of safety glasses. Those seem to be disposable, basically. We keep our marking paint in here, which I don't have any here because it'll freeze. Grease, oil, WD-40, different things like that. I think you got some wasp spray in there. And then down here is our Stabila layout station our uh, transit laser, Stabila. Um, these are new to us this year. Well, we used them in the fall last year, but basically they're new. And then we keep garbage bags and um, some paper towels and things like that there. Uh, fire extinguisher. Up here is a little, um, it's a landscape, I don't know what they, it's a pump. It's a little hand pump, super handy to have. It's super inexpensive, and we've used that thing so many times. And then I, back here I have my pave tool, um, screed, screed um, rails. Um, the rest of those parts for pave tool, I have the full kit. That goes in the truck, because um, we just, we ran out of room in here. So I, uh, we can't just, we can't put it in here, it's too big. So this is the big addition that I did this year, this fall. Actually, this winter, I guess I worked on it. So before we had a couple of these stacked here, we had a couple stacked here, we had a couple stacked in here, and it was just getting really cumbersome. And anytime you ever needed one of these, you had to take, if you wanted one on the bottom, you had to take them all down, unclamp them because you wanted them clamped when you're driving so they don't tip over. So I was just sick of it. So this is way more efficient. Everything is labeled. There's no more sifting around in the truck, trying to figure out which one is which. So these are Milwaukee, uh, they're called the, I think they're the 20 inch organizers. Um, so this is what I did, I labeled, I labeled each one, as you can see. <clears throat> and these are pretty much all the commonly used things that we need randomly throughout a job site, um, throughout, you know, a job. Uh, this prevents a ton of trips to the hardware store and it's worth every penny. 
I think each one of these boxes is like 20 bucks and then um, I you know it's just worth it so this one has chainsaw and miscellaneous parts so it has the three different size chainsaws that chainsaw chains that we need um, got a random hook some hose clamps and then some random wiring things some fuses most of the time we need that for the pickup itself but <clears throat> nonetheless I have needed it and so we keep it on the truck this next one is called sprinkler service so basically what I did is I made a box that we could take if we had a sprinkler repair something that we broke I could grab this box and have almost everything I need to stop a leak quickly so we got cutters we got crimps we got a pressure gauge we got um, plugs for three quarter and one inch poly some screw in plugs some hose adapters and crimps uh, and then some teflon tape and things like that so i figured i wanted to make a box that i could take out quickly and had all the things i needed to fix a leak in the event that something happened quickly you weren't rummaging through different parts to get it but this should be really nice to have when we need it so this one's called drip fittings so this has obviously all the fittings for drip um just all kinds of different stuff this is a really cool fitting so you can go from a hose a regular hose to a drip fitting like if you wanted to set it up set up something super quick for a homeowner those are awesome here's some cool shutoffs <clears throat> so this one is fun, funny pipe fittings. Uh, not really that exciting. Just got funny pipe fittings. This is copper and wiring. Um, some one inch copper fittings. Um, waterproof wire nuts. A sh wire stripper, pipe cutter. Some solder back there. Things like that. This is uh, all spray nozzles. So different spray nozzles for um, misting, mist heads. Uh, this is three quarter inch poly pipe fittings all kinds of different sizes for that um, this is a super useful box this is all different guys here, I'll open this one up this is all different size screws for gutters and for wood screws um, I buy all only stainless screws anymore so different sizes of that um, different sizes of wood screws if we need to build something quick we got some um, tech screws some sheet metal screws different colors of gutter screws tan brown and white and uh, there's some stainless washers so we use that box a lot especially when we're doing drainage work on homes you know it's nice to be able to have the right color screw and make it look professional that's what, that's what people are hiring us for uh, this is a mar marking and batteries. Uh, I'm keeping this this one low because we use this one a lot. This has got our double A's, our D batteries, paper markers, tons of different pencils, red red lead and black lead. Um, I still got to order a bunch of permanent markers. Uh, this one is drilling and grinding. So we got. Uh, I'll open this one up here. We got metal cutting wheels. Um, different grinding wheels, tuck pointing wheels, paddle discs, um, SDS Plus bits, some other bits here, some more drilled concrete bits. So anything you need to grind or cut or drill through with concrete, that's going to be in that. <clears throat> and then this bottom one is all concrete anchors of different sizes. So I just went and bought a bunch of different Tapcon sizes and filled them up in here. So not everything is specifically labeled inside the box, but at least you can find what you need when you need it. So very excited about that. Should be a great addition to the trailer this year. Uh, up here is our first aid kit. Again, by the door so you can get it quickly. You don't want to have to climb in here and rummage through all this to find a band-aid really quick. It's easy. It's easy to get to. It's labeled. Easy to see. Same with this fire extinguisher. It's right here. You don't have to go through anything in here to get it. It's right there. Uh, oh, so I have a couple hooks here. This is super helpful. We keep these these cable ties for extension cords. We got some lighters for our blow torches. We were using those in the fall last year. 
that's super handy sometimes you need to just put something where you don't want to lose it whether it be a key of some sort or whatever very handy to have there uh, over here is all our one inch fittings um, most commonly used fitting for us so these are full boxes of the fittings you know tees couplers um, some adapters uh, this is one inch to uh, funny pipe so different things like that uh, down here we in this one we keep some uh, sprayer nozzles and some scrub brushes and this one is tape blue tape painters tape caution tape duct tape keep some uh, PVC glue and stuff in there some, there's some more clamps some ball clamps extra and then this is our um, every one of our guys carries these during the day uh, here's here's one that's got some stuff in it so they strap this on when they get to the job site it's got a it's got a knife a pencil a marker and usually a tape measure and those three or four three to five things are some of the most commonly needed things on a hardscape or a landscape job and if they don't have them they're looking all over for them or they dropped it or they left it somewhere else and I'm the number one culprit of that but either way I tried to get my you know three or four of those and keep them on here and the guys use them all the time they love them uh, these are some pipes for setting wall block down here we have a tarp I think there's two tarps back there and this is a full tool set um, let me see if I can open this up here it's got just miscellaneous um, channel locks and wire cutters and vice grips and, uh, air air nozzle screwdrivers um, different sockets and uh, Torx bits uh, some more wrenches uh, and then a bunch of sockets um, that also has been super super helpful to have on the trailer use it all the time it's where we keep our IQ saw and again you can see this is tied in with a strap these are e-track straps it's a nice ratchet strap super heavy duty and it goes from this side around the saw over here it's strapped in it never ever moves uh, keep a hose we got that expandable ladder a rope keep a couple chains and straps in here for lifting things up in here is all of our screed rails uh, i actually just bought a bunch of new ones you can see right here uh, it's gonna get too full we need to we need to go through these and probably pick out what we don't want uh these these grabbers right here uh, these are for pulling around our alterna mats. They came with them. Super nice to have. So keep those up there. And then I have our screed, our screeders up there, our hand screeders. And uh, there's a few other things, but that's basically just a 10 foot long box that I built on top of the rest of this. And that keeps the pipes out of the way and they never get bent and they never fall out. And I just have these things that you just pull these off to get out what you need. Because in the beginning, we actually did have problems with them bouncing out of there. But we just added a few of those across there, and it works out perfect. So we have more E-Track here. Basically, it gives you the ability to customize it to how you like it after you build it. So I was able to put all the E-Track across, and then I put my hooks on and organized how I wanted to. Um, and then we keep two wheelbarrows in here, which is a huge help. It does take up a lot of space, but... We decided, like this fall, we went through this whole thing and decided what we wanted to keep and how we wanted to change it. And we really came down to the fact that having those wheelbarrows in the trailer at all times is so useful instead of throwing them in and out of the truck. Not to mention somehow the truck always gets scratched when you're putting them in. Uh, we keep our little compactor back here. It's being used less and less, honestly, because we have larger size compaction equipment and it just, we don't really use it that often. Um, we have a rolling compactor now for doing poly sand so that won't be used for that anymore so i don't know i still keep it on here just in case we need it so yeah that's that's the trailer um i have a lot of time a lot of money invested into this trailer but i think it has paid off tenfold for us um it just improves efficiency so much we never forget something that we need we never forget a tool that we need and if we forget one 
we put it in the trailer and it stays in there and that's how this thing has gotten so full is because over the time over the last two to three years we have um dialed this in to exactly what we need and uh works out awesome um yeah so there's a lot of people that wanted to see this and uh we're asking about it so i thought i'd make a new video because this one is this is more customized to what we are using day in and day out um honestly i probably would go with a longer trailer next time because i have i have a lot of weight in the front and i wish i could move some more of this back but it just it doesn't work um i just can't can't make it work with what we have so you know if i ever do this again which i'm sure i will It'll be longer, it'll be taller. And uh, otherwise, this trailer's been amazing. Um, you know, things like this. So this is E-Track here. We're able to put anything here. We can put, a, we can put a little hook here to hang something. There's just been so many times when we need to strap something in and we can put it here, put a tarp strap across and be done. This whole bar right here. So see there's E-Track here. Goes all the way back there, all the way around this whole thing. So I can take these, This is these are a two by four holder. Let me pull one of these out here. Well, this is a E-Track board holder. So it fits a two by four or any two by material, just like this. Puts it in there, you could screw it in, you don't have to. So these guys go in like this, never going anywhere. And you can organize things and keep things from moving around. That board just sits in there. This board is on those same things. So I could take all these boards out of here and have full access underneath this, this shelf here if I need to. I never have, but in the event I needed to, that's available. Um, here's some more of that three quarter inch plywood that's around the whole edge of the trailer. Everything that I built here is glued and screwed together. It has been super heavy duty. I just recently labeled all this stuff um just it it takes the guessing out of it for somebody new they know where something goes i need to do some more la labeling like i literally want to put water jug microwave glue air compressor things like that because if you can make it super easy then somebody can come in here and see that the marking paint is right up there and they can go right to it and grab it instead of looking all over and uh it's just and then it goes back where it needs to go in the right spot so the next guy can grab it and it's there when he needs it. So, so yeah, that's the trailer. Um, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, leave a comment down below if, if uh, let me know what you think of this and if you have any questions. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a great season. I'm looking forward to a 2019 season. Uh, we got some really exciting stuff in the works and uh, excited to take you guys along, so hit that subscribe button and that like button and leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Have a good one.